Hi there, this is Leah from Mommyish, and today I have a short tutorial on how to use some new pinwheels. Um, now, I guess it's not like, ooh, you don't know how to recolor things, but I made, um, I mean, there's scans of the pinwheels, like typical, like, you know, flat element scans, but then I have this one for you that's set up so you can have like a more realistic uh, pinwheel effect thingy. All right, <laughs> so as you see, um, we have our pinwheel. And when you open up the file, there's like, oh my gosh, all the layers. Um, each is named. So the, this one's like the button. And then it's um, the arm bottom, which is going to be the darker inside part. And then the arm tops, which are the lighter outside parts. And then it goes around counterclockwise. So this would be um, arm bottom two, arm top two, arm bottom three, arm top three, and so on. All right, so basically um, each layer has this uh, little layer clip to it with the um, layer style or like the layer effect set to overlay. Um, and it says put or paste or fill in here. I can't talk straight, my God. Um, anyway, so if you were going to just fill in, you just, you know, like flood fill with your paint bucket. Or if you want to be fancy, you'll get your papers. Um, this is just for my daily freebie that um, I had and I'm just gonna start with this one I'm gonna want this to be like the underside paper so for every one of the ones that's the arm bottom I'm gonna paste it in sorry about my alarm going off <laughs> ah, it's like every time I have alarm set for everything like nurse the baby time to eat a snack so your blood sugar doesn't go too low you know lunchtime otherwise i just i forget everything anyway moving on um make sure that you select the layer that you're wanting to paste into because if you just hit the um this part like the layer itself it's not going to take the effects of this layer so you're pasting into the filler paste here layer like like that um and so i'm just going to do that with each one of those this is the bottom and another bottom and the last one. All right. And that's easy enough to do because basically if you think about this as a sheet of paper, if these parts folded out, this part would stay, you know, flat. Like I, I'm not too worried about moving the, the paper around to, to look different. So I'm happy with that. Um, now I'm going to use the colorful part for the top. And I'm going to start the very top one and paste in there. Um, now what I'm going to do, I'm going to resize this first of all, but, um, and I'll just keep duplicating it, um, is since I have like a, uh, I have a straight edge here, right? And then I have this pattern that I have a straight edge. So what I'm going to do is every time I'm going to, um, have it match up like the line with the line so they'll be parallel to each other um, and I'm going to do that all the way around so let me like I said scale this down a little bit this is at 50 percent and as you see there I'm making it parallel with that line and apply um, I'm just going to control a control c <laughs> and we'll go to the next one and put it in there and again I'm just gonna rotate it around the long way because you know that's how I roll so it matches up with this edge here and to the next um, I guess that one's already lined up right so what I want to do with this one is I don't want it to match perfectly to this because I'm weird and I want it to be a little different <laughs> I'm going to do it like that. All right. And the last one. So I paste in there. And again, I'm going to make this uh, parallel like that. Oops. I went a little too far that time. There it is. All right. And um, like I said, I like to just kind of move it around. So there's more of a contrast, basically, where these little areas overlap. My last part's my button. I mean, I guess you could put a pattern there if you wanted to, but I'm just going to flood fill it in with yellow like that and then it's done so i have a unique little um pinwheel element i'm gonna increase my canvas size so you can see how large this is on a 12 by 12 um canvas like that so you can see it's pretty big um so once you're done just you know take all your layers 
merge them together and uh, and you have a new element. I'm, what I'm hoping is that this makes it easy uh, for you guys to create realistic looking elements without having to do all that, all the work of, um, you know, like getting out each one of these little bitty layers and like figuring it all out. Hopefully, hopefully it would be useful. Um, but that's it. That's it. That's, uh, that's how you do it. So it's as easy as just pasting it in and resizing and merging it all together and being like, we am done. All right. So that's it. I'll have a great day. Bye-bye.